Did you know you can plug an electric car into a standard Australian power point and charge the car off any normal power point? This is not very fast. It'll charge at a maximum of 2.4 kilowatts, whereas if you plug it into a proper installed home charger, you can get more like 7 kilowatts, or if you plug it into a public fast charger, you can get 77 on this car, or 100, 150, 200s in more expensive cars. So this is certainly quite slow. It'll actually take over 24 hours to go from completely flat to completely full. But if you don't have a charger at home and you just need a simple, cheap solution to charge your car overnight, or if you're staying somewhere and there's no charging available, but the owner of the place is happy for you to just plug in to their power point, you can get just a bit of extra charge while you're there parked anyway, and it can end up giving you quite a bit of extra range. For the first few months I owned this car, I didn't have a charger installed at home, and I just charged it exclusively off this. I charged it on a public charger a few times when I was on road trips and stuff far away from home, but for driving around at home, I just got home and plugged into here, and as long as you don't do more than maybe 100 kilometers a day or something, you can pretty much keep it topped up on one of these at home from a standard power point. All you need is a charger like this. So when you buy an electric car, you usually get one of these included with it. It's a basic, what they call 10 amp charger or portable EVSC or trickle charger. It just has a standard Australian power point plug on one end and the type two charging plug on the other end that you would plug into a car. And then all you need is a power point. This can be a little bit tricky to get your car close enough to a power point. Obviously you're not gonna be bringing it inside. So ideally you'll find an outdoor power point that you can pull right up to. If not, it is reasonably long so you can stretch it somewhere else. And you can use an extension cord if you have to. You are pulling the maximum amount of power that a power point can deliver. So it would ideally be best not to use an extension cord, or if you have to use one, use one as short as you can. But if you do need to use an extension cord, it's really not the end of the world. Just get a reasonably good one and plug that into the power point. Then you can plug this into either a power point if you're close enough to plug it directly into a power point or into the end of an extension cord. And then this end will be ready and working. So you're ready to plug it into your car. My car has the charging port on the front of it. My car's a Kia Nero. Most cars, it's usually on the back on the side or on the front on the side or something. So this is a bit different, but I'll just plug it in there and we'll hear a few clicks. And now, within a few seconds, the car should start charging. Then, when you get inside the car, every car's different. Some cars might display their charging on the dashboard. Others, it might be on the screen in the middle there. But you should be able to see the charge rate somewhere. On my car, it's on the dashboard here. So, right now, we can see the car's currently at 74% and it's trying to charge to 80%, and it's going to take two hours and 10 minutes just to add that extra 6%. So it's really quite slow charging. You can see we're currently charging at 2.1 kilowatts, which if you've ever charged an EV at any other charging station, you know that's really a very slow speed. But if you're going to leave the car sitting here for a while and be doing other things anyway, really doesn't matter that much and eventually it'll end up building up quite a bit of extra range while it's just sitting here doing nothing. And then when you're ready to unplug and stop charging, whether you've finished charging or you just need to go somewhere and you can't keep staying here but you've got enough charge, all you need to do is you'll usually need to press the unlock button on your car's remote. Even if the car's already unlocked, you have to press unlock to release the charge port. So I'll do that. Then you pull that end out and probably put the cap on the end of it. 
Then you'll go over to the power point or extension cord and pull the other end out of that. And then you're pretty much done. You can coil up the cable and put it in your car, maybe in the front or the boot or wherever you want to keep it. And then you're good to go. So it's not the fastest or the fanciest or the most sophisticated way of charging, but if you park anywhere where you have access to a standard power point and you have one of these, you can just plug it in and get quite a decent bit of extra charge while the car's not doing anything.